week. So we drained it last week so that TerraCare could clean it up this week and let it start to dry. Because it's it, between the stone and the concrete, it, it needs to dry thoroughly before we cover it for the winter. Um, and uh, Tate is going to be here today to clean it. Um, the 2022 annual order is pretty much done. Um, we didn't submit it to parks um, primarily because they don't have any place to order it yet. Um, they were working with, I think, Dolly, and um, like a lot of the big um, greenhouses, they're getting rid of their little customers um, and trying to concentrate on their big orders. And this is this is kind of a theme that's been happening now for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, Gro told me about it last year and the year before, and they were having trouble getting flowers because their orders were too small. Now it's hit the city of Longmont and Parks. So we don't really have anywhere at the moment to order them for them to be pre-grown. Um, so we're they're looking to see if they can find somebody, and if not, she doesn't really need the order till the spring. So we're just kind of sitting on it. Um, it's pretty much done, um, just waiting for, for her to have a solution. Um, I did put in a few new perennials in the garden. I noticed that there were some kind of empty spots along the driveway as we got into the August, September timeframe. Um, and we were also, we're still having trouble with the roses on Third Avenue because of the water. So we replaced four of the roses on Third Avenue that, that were just never thrived. And we're gonna fix the water problem. And uh, we put in three new hydrangeas and a deep purple butterfly bush into those holes along the east side of the driveway that just didn't have anything in them um, come fall. So, quick question. Water problem. What kind of water problem? We're having some issues with irrigation. Uh, it's an ongoing. It's an ongoing thing. We have an old sprinkler system. Right. Okay. And um, every year there's something right. something new. I mean, probably at some point we need to do, Parks needs to do a capital project to actually come in here and completely redo it. But I don't think that's going to happen until we're in crisis mode. Right. right. So um, we're just limping along. Yeah, you know, we, we get in, and there's issues between Parks and the vendor about how it gets fixed and when it gets fixed and who's going to do it. And, Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, good yeah. 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 So, um, we're, we're, I think in the spring, I'm actually going to have Anna do some work on the rose bed. Um, at least the part that's really having a problem, we're going to try and pull the pop up heads and just put in drip. Okay. So, we'll see if we can manage that. Mm -hmm. If we can't, I might actually just hire a vendor to come take care of it because I'm really tired of being the punching bag in the middle mm -hmm. of the park's um, tear of care. Yeah, you don't need that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and we just we just need to fix it. And you know, parks is parks concern is money, of course. And TerraCare's concern is like trying to do what they do. Yeah. You know? and, so, and Sam made a decision early in the year to just fix things instead of asking permission because she didn't want the flowers to all die. And now they're fighting over the bills. So it's 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 a thing. Um, we are continuing to replace our incandescent light bulbs with LEDs to save energy, but the other um, add benefit to that is they don't pull as much energy. Mm -hmm. So on our old wiring, um, our circuits and stuff aren't getting as hot and we're not blowing circuits like we used to. So all of the bulbs in this room have been replaced. Now we're working on the overhead lights in the offices and on the, on the porch. And then eventually I'm going to have to buy the bullet on the dining room. Um, but we haven't done that yet because it's going to be a $500 adventure at least. Mm -hmm. And the clear light bulbs still don't have the same quality of light mm -hmm. that you can get from the incandescents. They're getting better. Mm -hmm. They're getting better. Mm -hmm. um, so I noticed the overheads are, are much better this time. So maybe next year we can like replace all the ones in the dining room with, with LEDs. Um, Events for October, um, we've already done a rehearsal on the wedding, and I'm so glad that was over. It was, it was one of those ever-moving targets. Um, and then the rest of the month is, is clubs. Uh, I just wanted to reiterate that we had a great year, especially if you consider the short time frame that we did all the events in. I mean, typically we do events all through the year and obviously we have slower months where we don't do as many but um 
these events and uh, the, the time to, time between when we executed one and the next one were, were very tight. And the other thing you have to realize is that all of the planning fell in that same time frame, with only a few exceptions. So we did we we literally did things in weeks that we usually do in months or years. So it's been pretty crazy. And I looked at the revenues. Um, uh, as of now, we've had almost fifty-two thousand dollars in the revenue for 2021, and that is almost back to what we booked in 2019. Wow! And it, I think we're within two thousand dollars because the 2019 number has clubs in it. It has club dues, and of course, we didn't have any club dues this year. Right. So we're within a couple thousand dollars of being what we booked for 2019. It's awesome. Um, on a financial budget consideration, I did do an appropriation for the next cycle. Uh, since we were very conservative in our estimates of what we were going to bring in in revenue and also spend, we're running a little short. So um, did an appropriation out of the fund, which of course we'll put right back at the end of the year. But I have to do that because I can't spend money that I haven't appropriated. So, um, and that will be in the next cycle. Um, we haven't had any cancellations. Um, we had three drop-offs, four drop-offs booked, and um, Karen Roney did a luncheon here. Those were all revenue-generating events. Um, that's an opportunity to bring stuff for events. So alcohol, um, food, clothing, um, guest books, that kind of stuff. So sometimes they do a drop-off, sometimes they do a drop-off and a rehearsal. It just depends, but we do charge for them. So they're revenue events. Um, and usually on the smaller events like the memorials and stuff, they um, they don't get booked until closer to the event. When we book a when we book a wedding, we book a rehearsal at the same time. But when we do a smaller event, sometimes we do a drop off and sometimes we don't. So what's the average price for drop off? Um, you know, for, for wedding it's two hundred dollars um, because we book two hours. For the smaller events it's usually about hundred. And I usually book more time than they actually need because they're notoriously bad about showing up on time with everything they need. So um, they come back. <laughs> they don't show up. Um, Joe Wargo uh, was on Pacific time and she was an hour and 15 minutes late. So I charged her two hours because I had somebody sitting here. It wasn't on the time and that staff. So I charged her for two hours because you know, somebody was sitting here just for her. Mm -hmm. So and we, we charge $100 an hour. Um, if it's just a little bit of stuff, and it's, especially with memorials, I do a half hour, which is $50. So it, it just depends. Um, we charge because otherwise people would probably not show up until hours later and we'd be sitting here waiting for them. Right. Um, I did order new business cards with the new city of Longmont logo. Um, I did get our, an estimate for reprinting the history brochure from Minuteman, but I think I need to go get a couple more. Uh, I need to get the printer information for me, which you guys are using. You used Minuteman this last time. Oh, did you? Yeah, they did. They the, look over here? They did a good job. Okay, perfect. Good to know. I think there's a couple other city contracts, though, so I may just get a couple other bids to make sure we're not spending too much. Um, and then we also renewed the contract for advertising in the knot in the wedding wire for 12 months. Although the way they're doing it now, um, you can back out at any time. So, good to know. They, had, they did, started doing auto renewal, and um, but I, I circled with them because the prices, of course, went up just a little bit. And um, but now we have the option of, of stopping at any time we want to. <laughs> um, as you can see on the um, expense revenue and actual sheet, or the event revenue and expense actual sheet, um, it, it pretty much looks like we're about fifteen or sixteen thousand dollars to the good at the moment. Muniz hasn't completely caught up with that, but um, my numbers are pretty solid. Um, I expect, I honestly expect October, November, December to be very quiet. Um, with people back inside and mass and COVID, I'm, I'm kind of thinking we're going to be pretty quiet around here for the next quarter. Um, I, I changed the event breakdown a little bit, which is the next sheet, so you can actually see the September numbers. So I just thought you might it printed out that way, and I went, like, oh, that's kind of interesting. Maybe, maybe they'd like to know that. It is interesting. So I will start printing it that way. It's an enormous spreadsheet because I do every month separately. Um, but I, but it is kind of interesting to see what the actual physical breakdown on a monthly basis is. Yeah, it is. 
And on the bottom, you can see Art Walk is bro broken out on its own. Mm -hmm. um, the next sheet is the event actual. Uh, this is the 31 things we did during the month. It was it was pretty stinking crazy, like I said. Um, gives you a pretty good idea of what's going on. And um, a lot of memorials. And then um, when you take a look at the expenses, of course, when we do a lot of events, we have lots of expenses. Um, one thing I did start doing uh, for the memorials that I hadn't done in the past is um, we started doing centerpieces. Um, and we, what this is from, the King Supers does a great job. Um, they cost us about $10 a piece, and I charged 20 so it's just another little cha-ching. Um, and maybe they'll get a little more expensive, you know, when we get a feel. But interestingly enough, everybody who had a memorial, at least a bigger one, especially with a recent death, was very interested in doing them as opposed to trying to take care of it themselves. So, yeah. so it's just another way I can help, and it's another way that we can get people to learn. Right. Do you need additional mason jars? Oh, I would love a box yeah. of mason jars. I can't even find them right now, but I want I want the little ones because we don't want to spend the money right. to do big ones. And they have to be mason? No. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That's a term. Actually, the first time I did it, King Supers gave me the jars. She told, she told me she throws them away all the time, but she doesn't usually keep them because she doesn't have very much storage. Right. Um, so she said she would start trying to keep them until she ran out of room. But uh, the second time I did it, we didn't use all jars the first time. So, and honestly, I couldn't find jars anywhere. Don't look for jars in August or September. There's right. a last shortage. Well, you know where I found them? I found them at Michael's for $2.50 yeah. a piece. Oh, oh, fortunately, I had four or five already. Yes. You know, and I only had to buy like five. Ace so. didn't have any. Ace didn't have any. Target didn't have any. Cans didn't have any. Didn't have any. Didn't have yeah, any. Yeah. Um, Michael's only had individuals. Um, That's Hobby crazy. Lobby only had individuals. King Supers didn't have any, Safeways didn't have any, Walmart didn't I, 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 I you told forgot to call us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was on, I was on, I was on a dead run. Yeah, exactly. I yeah. mean, yeah. this, this is one that came up one week and we did it the next week. Exactly. Well, yeah. So, yeah. so, so we're 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 I think so. I think so. Yeah. I think so. They, the I flowers stand up. Yeah. 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 That's a toss up for less flowers. And she she did a beautiful job. I mean, I just, I looked at her bouquets and I said, use that one. You know, we paid for two bouquets, and she charged me a little bit to arrange them, and, you know, $10 a piece, and they were gorgeous. Yeah, so. Do any of your clients ask if they could take it home? Oh, they did. <laughs> That's why we didn't have jars for the yeah. second one. And I understand. Yeah. 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 And then I get somebody to open my crawl hole. Well, they, I mean, they, they, they pay for them. them. Right. So yeah. if they want to take them home, they can take them home. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. yeah. But I think all of them. And what are you doing at the memorial? Say, oh no, you can't take those flowers. Right, exactly. No, they were theirs. It's not like they're sure. in a bag anybody on the wall. No, it's not no, for a mason no. jar. No. <laughs> well, and and on one of them they took a few. On the second one they took them all. Mm -hmm. You know, but I mean, you took you took home flowers and you took home flowers from the one in the uh, early in the month. Mm -hmm. That figure is I need to dig mine out from under the house. To bring <laughs> <laughs> you you call somebody and tell them you're going under the house before you do that. Yes. Oh, I. Please. Well, I can't lift the call hole, otherwise I'd be under their party, and I like it. Oh, so you have to have Well, I mean, it's all yeah, part of it, and there's something. Yeah, so you have to have a friend to do it. To open up the hole, and I've had a neighbor one time open up the hole, and I'm like, goodbye, and then here I was in the back, I'm just sorting all this stuff, and I'm like, what if I can't get out of here? Because everything was just surrounded. Uh -huh. I like, uh -huh. I need to take my phone with me. Say, yeah, oh, that's yeah. a good point. Well, yeah. I call one of us and say, hey, I'm going to look at the problem. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you want to go under there and find all this good stuff? Like, okay. I have all these catering supplies, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the chafing dishes and all that kind of stuff. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Yeah. I bet if you listed them on Craigslist, some poor oh, yeah. startup catering company would buy them from you in a heartbeat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be wonderful. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay. So moving on. Um, I think yeah, there are a lot of rentals, a lot of um, our regular advertising, my cards, um, the financials, the unit financials are behind um, my spreadsheet. Not by a ton, but a little bit. The stuff that goes through RecTrack doesn't usually hit very quickly. 
So um, if you have any questions, that's why the, this report's a little different. Um, that's all I got. Unless anybody has questions. So we didn't use any of the Calhoun House patents. I'm sorry, we didn't use any of the Calhoun House patents. We haven't used them. No, we haven't touched it. We're ahead. We only touched the fine when we're short. So when revenues exceed expenses, we don't touch the fund. We touched the fund last year for the first time in seven or eight years. Maybe no. Wow. Yeah. We haven't touched That's the fund. Good track record. Yeah, we haven't touched the fund in quite a while. We touched it when we bought the sign, but that's what the money is for. Okay, so um, I guess we just need, um, we'll, uh, you just submitted your report. All right, moving right along to um, old business art walk. And somebody want to talk about art walk in Anne's absence or shall I? Well, I, my, it was very it was my first comment was, it was amazing on how many new people were in here that mm -hmm. never seen how long. I thought it was amazing. Yes. I would say probably 70%. Mm -hmm. so that's always the guess. No problem. Yeah. 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 So, go ahead. Uh, I thought it was great. Uh, to actually open the house and have 400 people come through, although I got to tell you, my head was spinning. It was... Oh, yeah. Whoa! I, I literally ran the whole time, just Thank constantly you. checking. Since I was the only one here, you know, employed by the house, I was, you know, constantly checking upstairs, downstairs, outside, the musicians, just to make sure that A, we didn't have people in the attic, B, we didn't have people in the basement, C, we didn't have, you know, a road jam somewhere, the video didn't quit, or, you know, so I just, I, I, I think I did 20,000 steps that day. <laughs> that you were so suffering. Very much, very much, very much. Yeah. So, yep. And I, I swore that you guys are just fuddling their help the steps when they came through the front door. I, I, and I, I know you weren't because you're trying to get them all over the place, but then just constant people come out. And then, and then when I, we had a couple of sneakers in with with uh, drinks that came in the side door that we didn't catch right away, but but then it went out yeah, there and did the exactly. door. Yeah, and then. And we, we recorded it as soon yeah. as we did. Yeah. So we've actually had people try to come in with alcohol. Mm -hmm. oh, we need a second clicker. So we need to put somebody down at this other mm -hmm. door that they come through yeah. so that they can be clicking there and we can be clicking in front. So we're clicking in our brain. That's what we were doing. I actually think that we yeah. might have missed some numbers because yeah. we didn't have. I think we also counted some people twice, though. Yeah, because they came in both so doors. Yeah. Right. Yeah. came in this door, went out that door, uh -huh. came back in this door. Came back in, right. Yeah, because you know what I'm saying, have you been clicked already? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't ask yeah. that. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I thought we were pretty accurate. I think, I think we did fine. Yeah. I, I, think, I mean, just a guess about golly. I mean, I, yeah. we do an event, I go out and go, and I try uh -huh. them out, but they all move. Right. You know, yeah. yeah. Dark. Yeah. Yeah. It was helpful like, to have the second person over at the door. So I think yes. that that is definitely yeah. good to go forward. Yeah, absolutely. We might have people yeah. that are just going to the garden and don't even come in the house. We don't. Yeah. yeah. They were enjoying the music. Enjoying the music. Yeah. 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 Doug, Doug's great. He, he, he not only comes with a guitar, he comes with an audience. He does. <laughs> yes. 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 Oh, His neighbors all show up. There was, like, there was one girl that, that decided to draw a picture of him. She was so oh, oh, that's oh. so sweet. He, he laughed. I gave it to him. Oh, and you they, did? And they, oh, yeah. I took him over to him. I said, you have a fan. And I did yeah. it out, and they laughed. Oh, no. So oh, he is very, very good. He Tell is me, very good. What is his name? Doug Brunson. Brunson. B R U N S O N. Yeah, he's and he. All I do is call him and say, "Hey, you want to play for the art walk?" He goes, "Sure." He's awesome. Yeah, he is. He's he awesome. Is. They play, told, they told me they play in the garage every Friday night. I said, yeah, well, they have could. to tell me where your garage is. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the neighbors that yeah. show up, the ones that listen yeah. to them practice. They yeah, yeah. I told, I told yeah. them, Graham, just tell me where the garage is at, so I can come yeah. on Friday night. Yeah, exactly. All good. good well, and I, I think the artists were all happy. Uh, we kind of had a wide, wide range. We did. And I think the, the uh, gentleman in the back room He'd never shown his art before. Right. That was kind of fun. And he was really cool. enjoying it. Mm -hmm. It was kind of Magwell or anyway. Magwell. I don't remember his name. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I just was flying around <laughs> <laughs> and, and took care of all the artists' interactions. Yeah. They were newcomers to Walmart. Were they? Uh -huh. 
Yeah, well, I think Jacqueline saw him outside his house okay. with an easy painting. setup painting. House painting. And that's, yeah. how, that's how he calls it, house painting. painting. Yeah. House. Yeah. I, I did find another artist, yeah. so I'll mention that to Anne when. Great. Yeah. Um, I did have a couple of comments in this. Ex there was a couple of requests about pictures of the cow panels. And maybe at the next art walk, you could just put a couple of, I know you said you have some. I do. But I wasn't aware of that. And um, I, I had, which I, is, is my fault. I thought it was an We can set up a little display with prices. Hey, we're not out anything to do it. It's yeah, but it's easy. A small area. Mm -hmm. We're just going to have to have somebody watch them so they don't walk. Yeah. Sure. I, I think that's possible if we can do that at the next art walk. So you have some of these prints available. I have the ones that I'm going to be giving to you guys. I have six or seven. So I have spring, summer, fall, and winter. And then I have a combo picture with all four. And then I have the two black and white ones. So pen and ones. Yeah. Those are available. So, yeah. 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 It just means we have to keep more inventory. So I'll have to do that a little bit. Okay. I, I just. I know there was a, a couple of requests, and I wasn't aware of it. I wasn't able to ask you until after the people had finished. Mm -hmm. And so, so keeping in mind, I just thought it would be a good opportunity. Even if we just sold three or four, that would be nice. Kathy probably got one of those girls who remember the one that came up and asked me, and then she came. I up. talked to her. Yeah, and she had talked to her. She talked to everybody. She was the one with the, the virtual tour. For Cooter, mm -hmm. Cooter, was it Cooter history? I don't know, I've got the cards on my desk. Yeah, 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 work 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 yeah. So, yeah, I owe her because she, she did want one, and I've got a note on my desk to call her when I have one. I have to get some printed. And, and that was a, actually, she was the one I was thinking of. So, it was a that was putting that out there. So, okay, um, are there any other comments? And, um, Speak about art walk before we're in old business. Do we have dates for um, next year already? Or not? No, they they said they were going to be the same, but they changed every year, so I don't have much faith in that. Right. So I'm waiting for um, for them to announce their dates, and I've been kind of on her. I think the September date will still be the second Saturday, um, which next year I don't know. I looked at it. I kind of got them penciled in on my 2022 calendar, the 10th of September, I think. But it's still a little unclear if they're ever going to go back to doing the May mm -hmm. art walk, mm -hmm. or if it's always going to be this, you know, Saturdays, you know, downtown thing. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll just kind of watch that and see mm -hmm. see what happens. Who's the one that's May? I, I can't. It's Elaine Waterman. Sarah and I went downtown afterwards. Oh, and Jake, did anybody go downtown? I didn't. Uh, there were so many people. It's so and so many vendors. It was just awesome. I had to have that. I love that. That had in the cute with We're big, but we're small. Yes. yes. My husband went downtown and he came back and he told me the next day, you had the best art and the best music of anywhere. Oh, oh. So, oh. I'm not sure how much that weighs, but he, yeah. he was impressed. Yeah, I'm not prejudiced. <laughs> that's okay. that's okay. nice. We want to be fun, so let's wait for it. All right. All right. Uh, moving on then with um, new business. The room by room self guided tour. Can we start working that one and speak about that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We've been at the yeah. yeah. We got together and really went through it and um, what we are focusing on, just so you all know, is identifying um, the, the dates of the more or, or what's original to the house, what um, came in the addition, just because those are questions that are really keep on top of people's minds as they're going through. Is this part of the original? They ask a lot. And so we're yeah. including that in the room by room tour to identify in this room why yeah, this is original and why. And in this room, this this was part of the, what was the original part of the house, but which part is the addition? And then the fixtures and the furniture, what what was Calhoun's what and when we the kind of like our um, details. But 
that would speak to people's minds and then yeah. we can sit there going, and we have to scratch our heads in the, in the yeah. middle of a walk or, or open house. And so um, just going through and really filling in those little details um, is what we're focused on. And then also incorporating um, the importance of preservation and restoration um, the historical properties because that educational component is, is important to have included um, in the completion and, and part of our tour. Mm -hmm. So that people understand. Why it's hard keeping they it up this busy and that it is costly and, yes. and that donations are accepted, uh, you know, and um, things like that. And, and that History Colorado has been um, wonderful in helping um, with um, those restoration and preservation projects. Exactly. Do we state how, how and where to donate? Because that's one of the big things that. It, it can be included in that final portion of you know, donations are always accepted, and you know maybe by you know making this. Well, I think if we, if we let them know where they can donate, I think yeah, it's that's, possible. And even if it's only a twenty dollars here and there, it does all add up. Oh, yeah. and so on to the only thing. Um, and. And then there's the other comment. I know that I got cornered, and maybe I passed it on to, to Kathy, but Deborah never really went off about the wood, mm -hmm. working whether it was original to the house or not. So I appreciate the details. That yes. would be, yeah. yeah. So it's definitely it's, it's going on. And <laughs> so, and now they decide to go. Yeah, yeah. We can meet again. We can meet again. Yeah. Yes. So, but I think it's, it's going to be in much, much better. And so some nice little books that we could read before we oh, yes. talk to our audience. Yes, the, 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 yeah. the objective is this. We, we put it together in what we think is, is a final draft. And then we pr provide it to all the board members. And we want you to read through mm -hmm. and, and make sure you don't have any questions uh, or something doesn't pop in. Hey, did we talk about this? Did we speak about that? Did address that, you know, um, so that we can really have a comprehensive covering of and it's not just that house, it's the family too. Yes. Oh, yeah, it's I just think that's so important. Uh, it's yes. so important in that. Yes. I was just lucky to have things that are off us a lot and do all this work. And I said, Oh, Kathy, Wait, I, I asked you the question. question. Yeah. Yeah. Fast yeah. Enough, but people came to see me in my office. A lot. I answered yeah. lots of questions. Yeah. They, they were yeah. really questioned, very inquisitive. Very, they are inquisitive yeah. people. And the uh, ones I could answer, like, like uh, it was cool. <laughs> yeah, I didn't yeah. expect 400 people, honestly. Yeah. I mean, I had, I think I had 150 printouts, and we went through those yeah. in the first 45 minutes. Yeah. It was like, whoa. Yeah. And I wanted to take them home and read it. Yes. Right. So then they can yeah. read it. One of the things is they did say, so they did ask if there was a virtual something so they could go back to the rooms. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, when there, there is a, there um, is, but there are some pictures available, plus the room by room tour guide tour. The room, the documentary is posted on the website. Yeah. And there's a room by room tour in that's yeah. part of the documentary. Which we'll include in 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 the detail, in the, the, the little clip about the house. Um, not only is the documentary available online, but we also have the um, Rosalind's um, book available for sale, which is also another thing to include. Along with say a lot. Oh, that would be mm -hmm. amazing. To yeah. Allow I you know, people to purchase yeah. those at yeah. open houses. So <laughs> we just need to go ahead and, and make sure we get those available. Yeah, I think the more information we can include along those lines, mm -hmm. it's an opportunity. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. and so by the time this is revised, every board member <laughs> will know every every answer to any kind of quirky question that anyone has probably posed and. Um, we'll all be really well prepared to answer questions or There's how to point out the or or how to point out where it is in the guide. There, this is it. Because you're like, here it is, right here in the guide. And so, I mean, you don't have to memorize things, but if you do remember how to reference it in the, on a guide, I, I, then you're covered. I'm just waiting for the pop quiz there. No, <laughs> we're not doing right. that. We're right. not cruel. Right. 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 It's a lot of history. 
but just you know, you know, being able to read through it is going to be very enlightening, very informative, and then also just helpful for to prepare everyone for the next day from house so that we have a point of reference. Oh, yeah, there's news for that. Let me show you where that is. So, so are we looking at having it ready for the Christmas? Yes, that would be the plan. So have it to be able to review for the, the November. I'm sorry. Yeah, the November um, is the date of the call. Okay. And it's going to include the floor plan too, which makes it easy for people to look at. Okay, I'm on the first level. Here's what the rooms are on the first level, and then go through each room and search it and see things out. Oh, what do you think the three of us are Yes. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful teammates. I mean, I kept should be Karen, or some character. No doubt. It is just a pleasure. What do I know? It's so much fun. Okay. Yeah. These guys are that's, amazing. That's yes. what we're hoping to maybe even change it from just the page format that you have to just crank out all the time, which is easy, but even make it into a little quicker. That's a lot of work. It's um, a lot more work. There's a, lot a more work. possibility if you guys would be interested mm -hmm. when you have your completed information. Mm -hmm. I can just, we work with a graphic designer who does the recreation brochures uh -huh. and they do other one offs for us. And he, I don't know that it would be, he's generally under $200 to transform it into a beautiful finished product, but he would give a price. Mm -hmm. And then he'd at least be able to. Yeah. Just to yeah. see what it, it, it might be. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that could be nice. It would be a good thing. Yeah. It's been timely, too. <laughs> so we get to do that for a while. <laughs> Ten years. <laughs> wow. That's a good one. That is so good. So, good. so do we have a date for an open house for Christmas? We do. We do. Cool. Okay, well, actually, so we're going to see Brian wants to be mm -hmm. then to the Christmas open house. <laughs> Well, um, that's scheduled for the first Friday in December. So it's the third. Third? third? Yes, yeah. I believe it's the third. And I guess my concern at the moment is I think in the current format, it doesn't fly very well. Um, I, I don't see without vaccinations for, for little kids mm -hmm. that people are going to be very happy putting their oh, children yeah. on Santa's lap. That's a good point. Um, right after... 20 other kids mm -hmm. yes. and right you know so i i'm a little concerned about whether or not in its current format that that works well, or if we should just change it to a christmas open house without the santa component or with a different way of doing santa if anybody has some ideas um, as opposed to this expectation that every one of the kids that comes is going to sit on santa's lap and yeah. And uh, so I'm, I'm really open by suggestions. Yeah. You know, but but there's still you still touch things. Yeah. I I just I I've seen the caution that my kids have with their kids at the moment with no vaccines. Right. And the prediction that they're not even going to have approval for vaccines for kids until November, or maybe early November, but not till at least November. And I'm just wondering if if it makes sense. Yeah. Even our school yeah. set up with. Yep. Yeah. Crayons and markers yeah. and yeah. everything. Uh -huh. What if we just had just the open house and showed off the pretty decorations and everything? Why do people want to do that? Um, I think it's something nice to have around here. And I think it can be pulled off with a bit of a distance. I mean, no lap sitting, probably, but more of a standby. Stand on the picture. So you just talk for a moment and then um, move along. So I think it's doable. And kids obviously are, you know, preschool age even, mm -hmm. um, are, are gathering together in groups with masks. And it's okay to, to have that. And then if you're, if you're taking a quick picture, you can take the mask off just quickly and then so just take a photo and then move on. And you do want to with Santa and make sure Santa's okay with that. Right. 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 Yeah. I, but I wanted to have a discussion first before we... It's you know, approached him. That's so, right. I mean, they'll get the most of it, mm -hmm. the blunt of it. We got a whole bunch of kids. Right, right. Yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. how many yeah. Uh, I believe it's four to eight. Yeah. It's yeah. the same day as our lunch. I think it's doable. It's yeah. just so it's a, it's it's a full need. day of, of oh. Callahan House. Right. Yeah. 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 Y
Any other thoughts? Concerns? I, 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 I'm going to be happy. I, I'm concerned that it, the sale aspect just went out. Yeah, well, I think it's probably not doable because you're going to have all these people with some of the kids and you can't do the six foot thing. We aren't going to be able to social distance. That's no. it. It'll be no. real. No. Really. And if the weather's bad, there won't be any place to do it in the garden either. So I'm just, I'm pretty okay with it. I'm just not sure how okay the people with kids are going to be. I think that that's just a parent's personal choice. choice. Yeah. I mean, we just put three, four hundred plus people in this house yeah. in our walk, and yes, there were kids there. And so I, and I think this is doable. I don't want to, I don't want us to just shut the door on this and say no. Um, I, I think modified in a way. Yes, but doable definitely. Can you talk to Santa about what he thinks yeah. he'd like to do? I think yeah, Santa's, that's Santa, that's where Santa's at is a big deal, and I, I, I also hear with parents from time, people want to go out. And they do. I, like I said, it was a great experience for me just going to the to the um, valley, and people were great about it, um, wearing their masks, and, and again, we aren't requiring people to show their vaccination cards or anything as they're coming in the door. It's just we ask the politely to wear the mask. It wasn't a big deal. They came in the door. You know, it's just. I hear your point on on the fact of kids not being vaccinated. Yes. I also think we have to think about how many people we allow upstairs at a time, and so I think modify. we need to modify yes. that a little bit. And we should modify. Yeah. But I think to just kind of shut that off for, for families and, and children, I don't, I don't want to take an approach. I, I don't either. I you just, know, I'm just you concerned. Think it's going to be a family choice and what they're doing in the holidays, and and if they choose to come, they know that it, it will be a little bit more limited, and that, and I'm sure everybody. Is going to be fine with that, and, and some people will just be. You know, they're just having their children. They just they just don't have a chance to do that. You know, this is they've been they've had too much unrest and, and disrupted in their lives to take this to. So I'm not. I'm. I want to allow it. I want to have it available in a modified way so that we're not taking Christmas away. <laughs> I think it's just lining the to just up and say, nope, we can't do it anymore because COVID's around. COVID's going to stay around. We need to right. learn to modify and live with that. Okay, so how and where do we normally put Santa? Because right just here. right here from the... He would yeah, have to do a Santa a pretty little thing around him. Mm-hmm. We can just use stanchions. Yeah, right, we can yeah. we'll, we'll figure it out. So, so what if we speak with him? Reservations. I was I, I, all thing. I can think of is last idea. year. Yeah. Excellent. That's and good. the... the Huge number of people that were downstairs. Yes. There's no way we can do a tour. No, there's no way people can <clears throat> you know meander around and look at things because there's so many people just packed in. Yeah. What if we did it a reservation kind of thing? We may not get as many people by the hour. I, exactly. I love like that idea. <clears throat> then we have more control. Yes. Yeah. You bet. And, and they would feel we're still going to have people show up without reservations. Oh, well, sure. So we'll always get that. Just, How yeah. hard is that to do, Simone? Thank you. Oh, yeah. 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 I like that. They do their own reservations. They are going to have to call and ask somebody to do them. Well, we we were very practiced uh, from recreation in 2020. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, very good. Um, the ice pavilion is reservation this year okay. still again. Okay. Um, so they can do it online. They can do it at a recreation site. Um, they can do it over the phone. Um, they can do it in person. Uh, so Great. I mean, those options are, are all there. Um, as a link, it's pretty easy um, on the site. And if you do an email or um, that we can give you the pass through them, so all you do is click that. Great. Right. Okay. Right I, I think most people prefer to have it, mm-hmm. particularly with kids, have a set time on what they're coming yeah. in. Right. Uh, they have it scheduled within their family, and they go. I think they'll appreciate great. that. I so like the idea from you. Because they were disgruntled people. people. They were very uh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's a, a very channel. long way yeah. because it was a big event. First come, first serve. And it was the first come, first yeah. So I love that idea. So, yeah, so, yeah, the, the details are, yeah, so I just need the time frames, 
the not right. really have the bands who allow the reservations to occur. And how many can go in one time slot? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So with those details, creating that can be done pretty darn quickly. Yeah. So perfect. perfect. So, so that so, helps. And you guys are pretty well set on how many people can fit in that in certain time frames, correct? With you know what, that would, that would, that's, hard. That, that's, that's the part that's going to be hard. Guys and to yeah. your sad yeah. experience. Yeah. Yeah. That's the part that's going to be hard. Yeah. Okay. You may you not, not be as good. talkative as the other one, but don't we, have, don't we have a new Santa? We do. I think he'll like, actually be quicker. I'm not that's that's my, but <laughs> I don't know how much quicker in a <laughs> different format. I think our field for how many people, I mean, I, I have all the numbers for how many people we put through here in the past. Um, but I, I think it's going to be a little different. So, so I, need to, I need to write some thought into it. And particularly, Absolutely. he is, if they're not sitting on his laptop, he's yeah. immersing it. Yeah, so much. that way. Yeah. Some people I know go and stay in the Santa. Well, you figured out pretty yeah. quick. Yes. Yeah, we're we're already in the middle of October. Right. 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 <laughs> and uh, my guess is by the 1st of November, we have to have the reservation system up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For recreation, it's a two week, it's a two week window. So you, it's two weeks. Yeah, we have to get the work done yeah, for that. Yeah. Yeah. And include that in the advertisement too. Well, a lot of the advertising is already gone, gone or not gone. So we, we did not put it in City Line because it, we thought there was at least a chance it wasn't going to fly. And we didn't want to advertise something that might not happen. Right. But um, we'll I'll work with Rochelle and we'll figure out how to get it up on Facebook and the reservation system. And, yeah. First, we got to figure out the reservation system, and then we'll figure out how to advertise it. Well, I think the big thing is first we got to make sure we're, we've got a Santa. Oh, we have Santa, oh, we and he's willing to work. Right, yeah, if he's nice. willing to work in the he's on list. list. Yes, yes. Right. So, and he'll be able to tell us and give us ideas. Right. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. Hopefully. I mean, he doesn't. I haven't talked to him yet about our setup because um, he was on vacation and then I was on vacation, yeah. so he's he's ahead of my list. So what time? I'm just letting you know that it's not a lap session in that thing, yeah. but rather that oh, it's a good photo. Well, we'll see what he's comfortable see, with. See what he thinks about that, and also just kind of bounce off of him. How much time do you think it would take to, you know, for child, for example? Well, and the, the other... That, that might help us. The reservation the system. Not how many to allow for reservations. And, well, yeah, the, the other difficulty with the reservation system is people come in families. So that's going to be but, that's going to be. But in the we have to think how to do that. Yeah. One half hour time. Yeah. Or something. And so we can be so I ask real quick if we could just say if you could tell me when the holiday decorating will be. I'm late for work, so I think we can. Just we we're deciding. I'll send you a note. Okay, please do. Uh, what's your availability? I like during the day. Well, of course. Any, but, any day not good for you. Any day of the week. Wednesday. Wednesday's are not good. Yeah, for sure. June. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, dear. Thank you very much. Thanks, John. Welcome. Have a good one, Don't get too long. I will. Okay. All right. So we'll we'll sit down. Um, anybody want to sit down with me next week? Have a meeting about the open house and just kind of. I'm happy to have. Good bye, Kayla. You did it early in the week. I'm going to be doing it Wednesday. I'm not going to have a Monday. I can't do it all day. Actually, next week is bad for me. How about later this week? Uh, I can't do Friday. Oh. I can't do Thursday. Oh. Down to Jazz. Good. I, I have jury duty, <laughs> so I won't know until Monday night if I actually have jury duty or not. And then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'm gone. So, uh, you know, we're having fun. The 25th, maybe? What do you think? I will be back on the 27th. To put it off too long because um, yeah, it's because it's so close. It, well, because we need to get it up. Can we meet tomorrow? Can we meet tomorrow? I can meet tomorrow morning. Can't. Right. That's what I heard. Thursday morning. 
trickiest part is trying to figure out how to set up the reservations so that we don't end up either empty or not. Okay. It's doable. Sorry. I didn't mean, mute my phone. Doable. All right. You just need to do Yes, two o'clock tomorrow. All right. So one more than what I do is you have to be fairly conservative mm -hmm. to say the Facility for your drop in to say, I don't have an opening now, but in 20 minutes we can put you down for that spot mm -hmm. so that you had some flexibility in the moment to either, that to either accept somebody or say, I am sorry, we are booked up. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 So I can do exactly what you have told me. This is doable. Thank you. Yes, you're right. All right, so the next question is when we're going to decorate. Um, we usually decorate the week before Thanksgiving. We could do Monday. Um, Tuesday doesn't work. Wednesday. We could do Monday, we could do Thursday, we could do Friday. Which days are you looking at? I'm sorry. The week before Thanksgiving. So November 15th, 17th, or November 15th, 18th, and 19th. Could we do the 19th? And, um, that would work for me. I just try to pick a day where we don't have anything going on in the house. Mm -hmm. Now, honestly, um, I can have an extra paint set of paints. Oh, bring Chloe? Uh huh. Cool, because I know she would love to go. So what was the Eleven nineteen on Friday of the nineteenth. So I work. do any of those days. So. Yeah, I could do it. Friday the nineteenth. Nine o'clock. Nineteenth, nine o'clock. I'll send an invitation. Does that work for everybody? Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's um, it usually takes all morning, and then if you want to, we can go to lunch. And we'll try to preset trees to expedite things. So from nine to noon. Yeah, nine to noon ish. Mm -hmm. Andy, do you want to own the library tree? Sure. Do you want to do something different or no, just use what we have? I can't always like to do things. <laughs> That's what you want. I mean, you give us a lot of those instruments and stuff, right. so you could do the instrument thing again. Mm -hmm. But if you have something different, you know, you're always the one that wants to like switch yeah. it up. So that so long experience. Like, so we do we do a tree in the foyer. We have like a nine foot tree in the foyer. We do a small kind of paint tree in the parlor. Then we have a fruit tree in the music room. And then we have, um, it's been kind of a red and green and white tree in the library, but Candy's done some different things with that. Um, she brought us uh, instruments, and I don't think we've used those yet. Well, well we, used yeah, to, we, we used part of them. We took them we off part last off. year. So yeah, yeah, we, didn't, we didn't decorate last year, so. I mean, the year before. The year before, the year before it might help keep down, but I Yeah. But, and then um, in the dining room, we have little trees that go up on the teacup shelf and a couple of Christmas cups. And then in the um, bride's room, we have a tree. Um, in this room, we have kind of a peach and uh, off-white tree. And then um, we probably don't need to decorate the other house this year because nobody's leaving in there. So I think we'll pass on that. Are we going to have to change the decorations a little bit? Because we're planning on having Santa in that space. Well, I'll figure that out. Uh, you know, we have, we have lots of space in this room, so we'll figure it out. Okay. 
But it's, just, it's nice to have a tree behind him. Mm -hmm. it is. Yeah, for yeah. the picture. So, and I haven't talked to him. I'm sure he's got a chair, but we need to. I need to figure out the logistics with him of what he what he wants. Right. And so you just do a different thing for your window as well. We don't really use. No, it's not. You've been kind of she's just been switching it up. She she just has lots of decorations. Right. She kind of switches it up. Sometimes. Let's be honest. I did have a children's literature tea tree as far as you know, Alice in Wonderland, you know, just ornaments and things that are children's books. Mm. That's kind of fun. That's, that's, that's another thing. And that that's, might be good. That would be good with say another thought. I don't know that it's a whole Santa reading a book or what was it from? Uh, storybook characters, you know, Wizard of Oz, who uh, we, we did one now all, 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 all of the golden books. I'm and sure with their it was fun to tuck the books into the tree. Oh. And toys and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That would be so, great to have up here. I think it would be wonderful to have as a backdrop for Santa. Well, yeah. I could bring all those things, you know, you could grab it and have volumes while we're stuck to the little double tree for that. Thing. Wow. Oh jeez. Yeah. How would you feel about a Tiffany tree? Oh, um, Tiffany yes. yes. boxes and, oh. and, and rides room would be great. Oh, yeah. that would be yes. that would be right. Right. That's that's great. That's right. a wonderful great idea. idea. That's a wonderful idea. As far as getting too, yeah. is that too yeah. commercial? Well, we do have a Tiffany lamp downstairs. How many times have you been on the train? Is that kind of the question? How big Torian? And the, and the tree that people see the least is the bride's room tree. Ah, I mean, the, the bride's room is more about having lights in the window for outside. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. well, well, I that room is library. That room <laughs> does it. Oh, well, that might be kind of fun. I, I, I don't know. know. Yeah. I'm I'm think of it. Well, think about it. We'll think about it. Yeah, that front door oh. tree is huge. Yeah. You have to have a lot of decor for it. Mm -hmm. I, and I kind of like the muted Victorian mobs and golds uh -huh. and rust so that when you walk in, it still fits the house. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's kind of been the thrust. It's, it's a good traditional you know, with, yeah, tree. Yeah, tree. Right. Yeah. And it's huge. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even going to put some of that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, think about it. Let me know what you think. I just show up with stuff. And yeah. I'll show up with food and drinks. Okay. Um, I'll have to promise to eat them. <laughs> like the you know, two bites of a pastry thing doesn't fly. All right. So so on the still on the holiday decoration because we did, we were we we took stuff down, right? There, right there. Some of the decorations were getting a little tattered, you said. Are we going to have to consider replacing anything this year? Let's not do anything for this year, but let's think about it when we take them down. Okay. Okay. So so just take note on, on the stuff, because I did know you had said something when you were putting stuff down there. We we're slowly to. getting rid of the really old stuff. So that's, um, and Jacqueline's like an artist at getting rid of stuff that we A, don't use, or B, is broken or tattered. So let's let's just kind of keep in the back of our heads that we might have to think about yeah, that's all, that's all that's the, all and it's always nice to do that like right after Christmas, but honestly it is very hard to find things that are appropriate. Okay. Um I, so if you find something and you think it's great, give me a call, I'll go scout it out. Mm -hmm. Um but the most of the decorations that are out there right now are just too yeah. classicy and too modern and right. So that's that's the real that's the real issue is how we find things to replace them with that are appropriate. Okay. And on the note of the kids' books, I have some really great hand blown glass um, ones of Peter Pan and um, stuff like that. If you and that's treasure that's them, perfect I would because bring that's them. a time yeah. Yeah. Of you treasure. Yeah, the treasure and I would bring them. You have them. Uh -uh. Not not with hundreds of kids up here. No. I have a bunch of felt. Um, like uh, three rabbits, um, Peter Rabbit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, they lost their mittens. The, the kittens that lost oh, the their mittens. Oh, yes. that's good. They're the, felt. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah. More like felt. And I do have 
um, a lot. I did have balls, you know, the glass balls, but I also have ceramic ones, you know, for characters and things like that. So we can just, if you want to, I don't know if I'm going to tag who's who, you know, right there. Well, and we do have seven trees to do, so yes. it's, it's, I think it's great to have a fancy one, but we still have to decorate the other six. Okay. So, yeah. I just don't know what all the, the other six are. Just so. bring your stuff. Well, the, 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 like I said, the one in the um, foyer is kind of muted reds, golds, rusts, greens, uh, with some um, kind of fruity ribbon. Uh, the one in the the parlor is is kind of a pink scene mm -hmm. because the room is pink. Yes. And those are probably the least Victorian mm -hmm. things we have. Mm -hmm. um, the tree in the music room is fruit, so pears fruit and fruit. apples and grapes and with um, bows. And then we've been doing kind of a red and green and white in the library with music, a music theme. Yeah. And, and you're gonna work that on that. was really one. popular. It was pretty it's gorgeous. Because like, there were violins and and yes. saxophones and yes. trumpets and music. It's, it's really, it's possible. really, it's, it's pretty. It's pretty in that room. It is amazing. And then um, the bride's room is just kind of a uh, white, white theme. And then in here, it's white and kind of peach and gold. So this this would be a complete change up, which is perfect. Right. I like that. perfect. I do too. I do too. Okay. Okay. I, do too. I, I think you should come into the next room. I'm seeing it. It's a lot of fun. I'm, 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 yes, it is very fun. Bring Sarah along on this one. I think Sarah is a Tiffany queen. She is a Tiffany queen. Well, and you know, probably the most tattered decor we have is the stuff we put in the dining room, which are those little little trees with kind of mauve yeah. ribbons. So uh, we might be thinking about something different to do on the cup shelves in the dining room. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. okay. that's prop, it, people don't get close to it, so I don't worry about it very much. Yeah. Right. Because they're up, they're, you know, they're yeah. up here, but yeah. those those are getting kind of sad. So maybe we need to buy some little trees and redecorate them for the dining room. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. So keep your eyes open, yes, say, right. and um, especially for sales, you know, I I think, um, I'm trying to think if we, I think I probably need to replace the tree in the library because we've had a lot of trouble with the lights, and I usually do that around Black Friday. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get tired of trying to fix it, so I think we'll probably get a new tree for the library. Yeah. 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 They went right back out. So um, I uh, will probably get a new tree for the library. I think that's the one we're having trouble with. I, I, I just think it's, it's forewarned, it's forearmed. If we have an idea and we can see something, then we can. Perfect. Cool. Perfect. All right, moving right along to the board recruitment. All right, um, board recruitment is starting the 4th of October and it's going to run through the 12th of November, I think at 5 p.m. in the day. Um, Karen and Candy are expiring this year, but you're both eligible for a second term. Um, I recently application. All right, well, there you go. All right, so then we we're, we should be full up. I mean, we might get some other applications, but I don't really want to go out and recruit. Okay. So, but I just wanted to make sure everybody knew the deadline's coming. Okay. So. Um, I know in the past we've, we've had where, um, depending on who wins the mayor's race, the mayor's wife has always been included or spouse, like it should be the spouse. Yes. Um, is, is that going to be something that's going to be thought of too? Well, they're not on the board. They're, they're just they're not a, a voting member. Yeah, they're, they're not just, a voting member. So, but if Tim does win the race, then we will we'll reach out to his wife. Jackie. That's other name, Jane. 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 So I just thought I'd just ask her about that. Okay. And she's yeah. very involved with she the was fire and house arts. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I used to live in Jane's house, Jane and Jim's house. Really? That was my house. My oh. kids were raised there. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah, yeah the, um, just to fill you in a little bit, the um, Kristen Kennard, we reached out to Kristen. She was here for a year and she went, this is ridiculous. I want to vote. Yeah. So she actually applied for the board and was on the board for six years. Wow. And um, 
Brian's wife declined. We had her to tea, mm -hmm. and she declined. Said she was too busy. But we'll we'll reach out to Jamie okay. if if he wins the race. Of course. I, yeah. I just thought it and it doesn't. And honestly, I'm just not sure how this this quite would work. But we should consider that it doesn't matter what gender they are. Exactly. Like, you're you're absolutely right. 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 We 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 just. We reach out to, them. to whoever the yeah. staff is. It doesn't matter. We just yeah. Like, well, when they won, it was, I'm sure that her husband did. Yeah, Bernie was not sure. Yeah. <laughs> Bernie, <laughs> Bernie, I know. But, yeah. Well, but still, like, as a president, I think we should just kind of say spouse. Make it, make it move forward in the way. So, um, all right. Uh, that actually kind of fell off under other business, but did we have other, other business? I do have a little bit. Um, oh. I did put together a QR code. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Happy. I'm so excited. <laughs> that is nice. Yay. With a little logo in the middle. Nice. I thought you were going to have time to do this. I squeezed it in. I squeezed it in. Um, right now, it goes to the website, to the main page on the website. And it would get counted with the website statistics. It's not going to come in any different than somebody who clicks on the link oh, for the house. Right. But what I don't know to, how to do is I don't know um, how to display them. I'm still kind of trying to figure that out. Um, we did hang a couple of signs on the outside of the house for the masks, mask signs. Yes. And I think I can take down the one now on the south, south door and put this so it would be under the porch and protected. Uh -huh. But I am really looking for you know, suggestions on how to display it or where to display it or... Well, our whole goal, or at least one of the things that I'm hoping for is that we can not just have it counted with the website, but eventually that we could count it um, separately. Separately. Yeah. So we have the counts and accurate counts and also have it listed that if you want to do a monetary donation at the time, if you're using our gardens and you're coming in and taking pictures, would you like to donate monetarily to the Calvin House? Is this an email address? Yeah, there's a there's a way on our um, on our web track website to have a pass through link, which is the same thing that this essentially is as a pass through mm -hmm. link that could go directly to a um, a donation thing that someone can do as a guest. And then that's what I was thinking them. through web track that we could keep count of it that way. And then well they can make a donation that way. That's that's what I'm I'm right. saying. And and I'm hoping that we could get a, a donation for using the gardens. I know mm -hmm. I know I have used the gardens. Mm -hmm. I've been here, I'm taking pictures and use the gardens. I would have done made a donation. I would have just because it was just a great experience for me and okay, we do donate a monetary amount of whatever. And I just think it's a good way for us to, to keep track. I also like to be able to keep track of numbers because it helps in our grant writing and everything else. If we know it's six people or eight people or four people or even two that have come in the gardens, that's another count that we are missing. Thank you for doing this. I'm yeah, so awesome. excited yeah, about this. Yeah, this is just one of yeah. those things that and you made a pretty resistant. Oh, yeah, no, no, and it's really nice. So, so here's the like question: it. What what if it said if you'd like to make a contribution to the preservation of the Callahan House? If there was another just another little QR code, which um, went to the right track link. Well, or you oh, could you just take on the website, website that they're supposed to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, they would have to look though, because if they're on a mobile device, it, it has all those sub menus and it just mm -hmm. like, yeah. We can go yeah. backwards. We could set this to web track, and in the description of web track, they could click and go to the calendar. That would be good. So it could be an order. Okay. It could be an order, like donation here. Learn more about calendar. That would be amazing. So, um, and I can work with Cassie on that for a photo to go with it, and we can get that set up with the revenue account that it would go into. Oh, okay. okay. This, see, the, the, we have a revenue account for donations. Pardon we just we have a revenue account for donations. It's just not set up in that track. Yes. So I think somehow, we just have it. Yeah. somehow it needs to be mentioned that people can make monetary donations mm -hmm. in memory of someone. Mm -hmm. But that's because mm -hmm. people don't always think of that. But how do we how do we honor that? Yeah. 
Because honestly, you don't have a plaque or a no, and we don't want to. You don't. No, 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 no. no. Like I said, like, I do this all the time with the historical society. I send the checks. This is in memory of so and so and so and so. They send a little note card that says thank you, thank you. A donation has been made in the memory of your belt. That's a cool idea. And then we don't have to. And see, I think that's a brilliant idea because not everybody wants flowers, but they would sure like to have. A donation in memory of the life. Yeah, that's what I've gone to do in everything I do. That's anybody who passes away that's connected with history or long or whatever. I just I think it's pretty cool. Now I'll send it to you. It's probably back in court. I know you. You've got you got two Yes, she does. Okay. All those are Ideas. Well, and there you can pay money to track statistics from a QR code, but I don't know how expensive it is. And I also don't know, um, I haven't reached out to Susan to see if there's any I thought city we, approved. I thought we, we could hook on with the city somehow. Don't, isn't there some way that you guys keep track of how many people attend, um, you know, the <laughs> um, that you do the um, rhythm on the river and other things like that. Isn't there ways that that we we do counts that we aren't thinking of? There's no slick like, way to do counts. Even in the trade show business, it's very hard. But, uh, and some of the avail availability to 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 grasp those metrics that you're looking for. Um, the marketing group within the city and within community services is doing some re reformatting, reorganizing, um, coming up with a master plan within themselves for the next five years, hoping to add a few more bodies and a little bit more um, resources to the table. And those things would fall under that piece, you okay. know, as, as we're moving down. So there is a desire to add more geofencing or some other more technical ways to I don't know, do counts or to pop up surveys or to say, hey, you're here at the gardens, would you like to make a donation? You know, those things are coming, but they're on the um, year, year five yeah. wish list. Uh, yeah. Year um, five. Oh, they're, okay. You know, they're not they're not here right they're now because um, yeah. so we can maximize what we have put forward, you know, like future goals and maybe that would align with other departments are having some weird things so that they can jump up on the beautiful. I, I I just I think that's great and just knowing that it's on the pipeline, mm -hmm. that's fabulous. Is there anything now that that counts how many people open this open date? Yes. Yeah. Um, it, the, it, the it would website. count. It would say I think by the strict Kathy, correctly, it wouldn't say if it came from the QR code or whatever, but you would be able to see comparison yeah. from month to, you know, yeah, last year to this number. year, right. you know, if all of a sudden you had this huge jump and if we got a donation. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that there's ways that we and it wouldn't count how many people because unless they all got out their phones and clicked on it, which, <laughs> uh, of course, I mean, the other thing we could do when the room, except it's not a room by room tour guide, but if is we could put up a truncated version or something and link them to the document and that might encourage more people to, to click. That's that's another thing that I was thinking because if the door, if I'm a nosy person, I, I am. I just <laughs> you're I'm curious. I, I'm curious. Yes. I like to go wherever I'm visiting, it doesn't matter, and I always check out the historic homes and the history in the area. I find it fascinating. And I will be the person that would click on this and want to say, oh, too bad we can't get in the house. It'd be sure nice to be able to make a tour and look and, and have an idea from looking on the outside and look at this is the type of things that I find interesting. And and then I'm also more inclined to donate to because okay, if I'm spending time here and I've looked at it and I find it exciting, I'm gonna continue the money. And and I think that that's really important. And like I said. It may not be a huge amount, but it's still money that we're not getting in otherwise. And that's we're right. not, if we could just tap the connection, mm -hmm. that's that's the big thing. So is is there a way that we can do that? Just set it up to, to so we can click and then click to the pictures and, and do it short form? 
I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it. Um, well, my understanding is that this the website that it goes to, you have the tour on the city website. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have the documentary. documentary. The documentary. The documentary. So, I mean, I think a lot of what you're looking for is, is there available. Is it, is, is there right now? Is it easy or is it very? No, it's easy. Yeah. Well, it has, it has its own. And if you go to the Callahan House about the property, the first thing is the documentary. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, and then the right below that is information about the family, the house, the business, the house features, the garden, the auto house, pictures of the Callahans. So and was, we could go to that page instead of going to the main page, but then they would have to navigate backwards to get hmm. to other stuff. So I wasn't real sure where we wanted to go. Yeah, because we also have to think yeah. about people who want to book the house. Right. We we have a business here that's as important as the history. Right. So, you know, where do we want to go? Oh, I think that's, but I like the idea of going to Brett Pack first and then for community if we can do the donation aspect of it. I just, I'm all about. Do you, do we have statistics on Brett Pack? Okay. That would be good. I'm a little afraid that people will see us trying to get money from them before they get information and, yeah. and then stop instead of getting the information and then saying oh i'd really like to donate well could we add to the page the it's, donation button i think that might be a better way to could, could we yeah. just do a donation like the button on the main page yeah do you want it on the main page or the history page i guess we could put it everywhere right? <laughs> i mean once you create the button it can go the button would be great yeah yeah hi i get it and maybe you have different QR codes in different parts of the, you know, if you find a way that you appreciate how they're displayed, you know, the QR codes. Yes. Yeah, if they're, yeah, they're you don't have to have the same QR code in every area. Like if you think that over there they'd be taking pictures for purposes, thank you for enjoying our garden, just for making a donation, QR code. You know, that could be, go somewhere different than, than the ones around the house where people are enjoying their passion. I have a little signage is very expensive though, so we have to think through. Right. Yeah. Signage mean, is, is very expensive. Especially if it's gonna endure weather. Yeah. Anyway, we start with baby steps. Look we'll yeah. at that that piece where all onions. Mm -hmm. This is great. So I'm yeah, just I'm so excited. <laughs> well, I mentioned last month when we were here about this auto um, Website that I had bumped into at another museum. Things it's called AutoCast, O T O Cast, and uh, it's they've got everybody tours, museum things you know, uh, that you can go and visit. And I just downloaded the app, and then wherever I am, you know, you can check Auto and see if there's any tours available. What's that called? It's called O T O C A S T. And um, yeah, I just uh, open that up, but it it just comes up with a you know it it knows where my location is right now, so it's saying Highlands Ranch. Art encounters in Foxborough Art Encounters. So they've got Jim Carter, they've got lots of different things going on. And you know, even their art walk, you know, that mm -hmm. stuff. And down to my father's rooms. And then it reaches further out to Nebraska and stuff. But so there's nothing lo locally. Nothing because if it was it would on, be torn it up. Right, it would be torn it up for a long time. So, so really it's mostly the southern Colorado that not really torn up right now. As far as participants, but uh, anyway, but I did go tour, you know, some places in different places, and then the museum 
that I got the app yeah. from, they had a wonderful room by room tour of their little history museum and and uh, you know how to get there and all that kind of thing. So it's it's just really nicely done. I have no idea what cost or you know operation or anything. So anyway, that'd be good for the city to get the information. Well, thank you very much. Yes. That is yes. amazing other business. So, all right, um, moving on, do we have any other business to discuss? I just have one comment. I'm gonna start sending out a note about a week before the board meeting for agenda items. Okay. So if you have anything, would you just get them back to me? And if I don't hear anything, I'm just gonna move on. Okay. So. I do appreciate the posting so that I can peruse it and then not taking up tremendous time and writing it if I if I'm having issues I just it just gives me a chance to read it slower and do what I need to. Well it was like you know yesterday afternoon soon enough for you. It I'm trying to get them done earlier, but it's I know, it's difficult. It's the Munis stuff doesn't tighten up until you know the end of the first week of the month. Yeah. So the financial stuff is it's hard to do any earlier than that. Sure. I thought it was helpful because I just read it last night. I skimmed over it. I didn't even put it out. So I yeah, and I saved the paper and yeah. was able to, right. to right. peruse it. And, and, and earlier is better than later in the evening. But, you, you know, if, if we can get it in the afternoon, that would be great. And then that way I can just, yeah, it gives me a better opportunity. I will keep trying to get them out by mid afternoon the day before two. Sooner if I can. The weeks where the second Wednesday is early in the month is harder. It's the financial stuff it just doesn't tighten up. It moves. It even moves. I did almost all of it before I went on vacation and then it was all deserved. So I had to do it. Yeah. It's like, and you thought you were ahead. Yeah. Get it. Okay. Um, so on the future agenda items, does it, anybody else have any comments to add? Yes, can we go ahead and add them actually on here? I, I and mean, so for sure probably email you so can you just add those back on there? So that we keep them on there as uh it's on our radar. Okay. Like um uh, so so we can put um the house the, manager pictures. House manager pictures and First of 2022, planning for that will be into February. I mean, those are things that it just kind of puts it out there on our radar. That it's like, yep, that's fun. And oh, let's get to that. And then we have some time now to focus on that. That's great. So let's actually keep that as our. That's very helpful. Thank you. So the minutes um, we talked about earlier, that's probably a future meeting agenda item. How yeah. they should be written. How, how do we incorporate the house manager's report in the minutes without? I've got it. Like, yeah. yeah, I'm not sure it needs to be a, it, it, on the future, but I'll I've got, got it in my notes, so I'll cycle back. But I'll forward. I'll email this to y'all just I so that y'all have it. this. It would make for a session that's easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Incorporation of yeah. the report without having to report the report in the minutes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, do we have an update on the paintbrush alert? I mean, aside from, uh, oh, I, I know that we have, that you're getting the, the, the pricing on it. The, um, I'm sorry, I didn't hear any of On the what? <laughs> the pink brochure. The yes, history brochure? Yes. So it's it's going to be printed as as we put it together, right? We, Karen and Connie I was going to call you back about the car. Karen and Connie and I continue to do research. I found it. I'll send you the link. 
I know I did all that research. Mm -hmm. Karen loved it too, and yeah. Yeah. it's yeah. like no, there's no the confirmation of the as an earlier model. So I will um, I'll send it to you. I found it. That was it said they used the reverse gear to, to slow it down or something. So I'll, I'll find it. That's what you're taught never to do. <laughs> well, the thing is, the thing is, it has parts. I know. It was fun. So, I forget what exactly what it said, but I did all find it. Like reverse. Yeah. <laughs> with respect to the car or respect to the calendars? No, with, res with respect to the car. Yeah. It was doing this. It was only one yeah. it in the front of the I forget. I forget exactly what it was. Down. They were using it. To, they were using it to do something related to driving it. Oh. All right. Are we done? Okay. So we're good. All right.